Hey guys, it's Ryan from the Melbourne Centre of Healing here. And I just saw a post earlier that really, really made my skin crawl. And I really need to do a, a video about it. So the post said, I wish I had a rewind button for my life. Now, to me, regret is one of the most insane human states that we can be in. To me, regret is poison. And I dead set refuse to drink poison. So what is regret? Regret says that something that happened or a series of events in my past either shouldn't have happened or I didn't do something that I should have. So in essence, regret says that whatever happened in my past should have been different. Now, I'm going to give you an absolute truth. Okay, The absolute truth is we 100% can't change what happened in our past. We can't change it, okay? Now, regret also says that whatever happened in my past that I'm regretting is bad, okay? When I look back on it, I have a negative emotion attached, whether that's guilt, shame, anger, fear, hurt, sadness, I have a, a negative emotion attached to it and that event was bad. And I can't look at that event any differently. That event shouldn't have happened and I can't look at it any differently. Now. I'm going to give you another absolute truth. This is the second absolute truth. We can 100% change the way we look at what happened in our past. We can change the way we perceive it. And the paradox is when we change the way we look at a situation, the situation changes for us. Okay, so we 100% can change the way we look at something that happened in our past. And you might be thinking, nah. Now nah, I've tried that. Can't play look at any different. It was bad. That's all there is to it. Okay. Let me try and convince you otherwise. I've sat in this very room with someone who uh, had a tough past. They had physical and sexual abuse. And I sat here and watched them as they had tears of gratitude for the person that abused them. Tears of gratitude. How can that be? Well, what they did, they went back into that event and went into that negative emotion in a safe place. They were able to go back and acknowledge, to feel, to nurture, to express, and to eventually let go of all the emotion built up around that event. Once they were able to do that, they were able to tune into the person. They were able to get inside the head, so to speak, of the person that abused them. And they were maybe able to understand some reasons why they could have done that. Doesn't make the event right. It doesn't make it anything but traumatic. However, they got an understanding. Then they were actually able to see the benefits of going through that. You might think, what the hell would be the benefits of going through that? This person was able to see that this developed in them a compassion and an empathy for anyone else that have been through the same thing. And that person today is able to help people who've been through the same thing and they wouldn't be able to help people and people wouldn't be so receptive to them if this person didn't have that empathy and compassion that was created in these experiences. They were also able to see that they had developed an inner strength from going through this, an inner strength that they carry with them today that they wouldn't have had and that most other people wouldn't have had because they wouldn't have been forced to develop it in such a traumatic and challenging situation. Once this person was able to see this inner strength, this compassion, this empathy that was helping them greatly through their life today, they were able to look back on that event and they were able to say thank you. And in that moment, they were able to wash away any regret that they had and all the what ifs stopped. So I'm telling you, if it's possible for them, it is possible for you and it is possible for anyone. But it requires those two steps. It requires going back to the emotion, okay? That requires actually being in a very safe space when you do that. It requires, it can be done alone, but normally it requires someone to hold your hand. So you can safely go back and you can acknowledge the emotion. You can feel the emotion, you can nurture the emotion, you can let the emotion express itself and then eventually after you go into that energy, you can start to let go of it. Once you've let go, gone of that emotion, you can start to ask, what are the benefits? And I can tell you right now, if you look back on something you regret and I'm like, what are the benefits? Write them out. You're going to come up with jack shit. You're going to come up with nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> but I can tell you that every person that's gone through this process comes up with a list. And after, if it's one thing, five thing, or 10 things, it all depends, but people get to a state where they can say thank you. And I can promise if you go through this and you do this, you can get to a point where you can at the very least have acceptance for what has happened. And if not acceptance, it could be gratitude as well. And what happens when we go into acceptance and gratitude for what has happened? No more regret. And we avoid the situation of being 70 years old, staring out a window saying, what if, what if, what if, which scares the shit out of me personally. And yes, it's scary going back to this stuff, going back to our regrets and wanting to shift it. It's scary, but I can tell you right now, if you've got a choice between fear and regret, choose fear every single time because fear is temporary, regret is forever. That's all for me today, guys. Peace out. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.